Hey folks, it's Mike. Um, Happy New Year. It's 2023. We made it. Uh, and uh, today I'm at uh, Le Barrier Park. Uh, just, uh, I don't know if it's still within the confines of the city of Winnipeg or just outside it, but it's, it's the south part. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, I'm coming here uh, to Le Barrier Park today because uh, uh, the last, I don't know, four or five days, it's been quite well, the trees have been looking quite frosty, and uh, which makes it look quite beautiful. Which, honestly, it's it's kind of a rare thing here in uh, in Winnipeg and slash southern Manitoba. But uh, as you can probably see, yeah, you can see a lot of frosty tips uh, on the trees. Just you know, kind of like uh, '90s pop stars or early 2000s pop tarts, pop stars, pop tarts too, maybe. Um, but uh, yeah, figured come out and uh, capture some photos and uh, cool. All right, so uh, I think uh, my first subject will be this tree. Uh, as you can see, it's got some nice frosty tips on it. Um, and uh, figure, you know, I'll throw on my uh, 70 to 200 uh, L lens, uh, which, you know, nice and sharp and see what I can get and, uh, you know, try and blur out the uh, trees in the uh, the background there a little bit and uh, see how it goes um, although uh, at this point I'm gonna have to back up if I really want all these trees or, or all this tree in here uh, so yeah just give me a sec uh, nope still not back far enough uh, 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 give me another moment here give me a sec uh, nope, still not far back, back far enough. Uh, well, shoot. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, geez. Okay, this ain't gonna be uh, fun when I take my boots off. I think my socks are gonna be wet. I think my feet are gonna be wet. Ah. Okay, maybe this is a little too far. Uh, uh, got to get in closer. Okay, so as Goldilocks would say, it's just right. So here we go. I'll say this is a nice pretty bridge. Uh, I believe it was built in 1969 or so uh, when the park was established. Um, eh, honestly I've been here two, three times and honestly it kind of looks pretty in any season. Um, yeah. That's right, yeah. Popular spot for snowmobiles. Cool. I've never actually seen snowmobiling uh, on the rivers inside the city. Cool. Or maybe just outside the city. I don't know. So. With the, the white frost we see on the trees here, I don't know if it's rime or if it's hoarfrost. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is, I've got an app that I just installed on, on my phone. Uh, it's, 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 it's actually a custom made uh, app that I've got for my phone. Um, it's it's kind of like Siri, kind of like uh, um, you know Android's you know, Google, whatever. Um, so uh, let me try it here. Hey Studio Mike, what's the difference between rime and hoarfrost? Hoarfrost 
water vapor hitting cold objects, rime ice, super cold water hitting cold surfaces. Basically, that's it. Oh, okay. Um, thanks. Thanks, Mike. So, uh, so typically uh, in uh, the winter, which is when snow falls, because I haven't seen it fall in June, at least I don't think I have, um, one thing you have to do when you're photographing wintry scenes is uh, that have snow, because there, there are wintry scenes that don't have snow. You're lucky to live in those kind of countries. But uh, you do need to overexpose your photos just a little bit because uh, your cameras kind of want to shoot at a uh, sort of an average between white and black. I can't remember what percent gray it is that it, it's sort of shooting for, uh, but you kind of have to just compensate by just overexposing the snow a little bit or the, the white a little bit, the scene, whatever. Um, so to be honest, I actually don't remember what the percent gray is. Hang on, let me actually ask my app. Hey Mike, uh, so what percent gray do I have to, uh, do, do, do cameras actually sort of shoot for? It's mid gray, which is about 18%. Thanks. So, there you go. Um, anyway, off I uh, trek further into the trails. We'll say it's quite nice and uh, peaceful out, out here in the, uh, the forest. Other than squirrels. Okay, so kind of seeing a little path of light there in this uh, sort of rough bit of trail that's not really a trail. Uh, see if I can get uh, a photo of it. Or, you know, something acceptable. It's quite pretty. I'll say that. Hopefully it uh, turns out. Hopefully. Okay, so fork in the road. Uh, which way do I want to go? Uh, Whichever way there's a spoon and a knife? Ah, heck, I'll go, I'll go right. Wait, maybe I should go left. Uh, yeah, whatever, I'm going, I'm going right. It's kind of neat to see uh, some uh, frosty leaves still on trees and bushes and such. Just say. We'll say one thing about these uh, heated gloves, and they keep my, my hands nice and warm. Only downside is they're so thick that it's kind of hard to push the buttons on on, on my camera. So I kind of have to keep taking off uh, my right glove and taking photos. I, you know what? I'll live with it. Keeps my hands warm. Besides, I've I've got somewhere I can actually, you know, attach my gloves to to each other so to win okay so I've got this this nice little path you know as you can see it's sort of winding its way through um, and to give you an idea of how my camera wants to expose it versus how I probably should be exposing it. Um, at F11 and ISO 100, my camera is saying I need to shoot this at 1 40th of a second. Uh, which, as you can see in this photo, looks a little on the dark side. Um, I can get it at 1 25th of a second, it looks much better. Um, only downside is I kind of have to use a tripod to, uh, to do that. Um, but that's okay, because I can put it on a two-second timer. Um, I'd use my remote shutter release, but um, 
I, I didn't bring it with me. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, I, I like how this works, it's, you know, especially with the, the, the sun kind of going through, you know, some of the trees there and such, and with, all, of course, all the uh, frostiness on the trees and the, the snow and such, and it's a pretty winter scene. I, uh, actually, one thing I didn't sort of account for, although I'm kind of certain that I, I dressed appropriately for it, is uh, the fact that, uh, you know, being winter, it's kind of cold. Um, so I should probably check uh, the mic app just to see uh, what the temperature is right now. Hey, Mike, what's the, uh, what's the temperature right now? <sighs> Why don't you look it up yourself, Bozo? Well, uh, I mean... I figured I'd ask, you know, uh, you know, I don't really want to open up the app. Minus 10 Celsius. Okay, fine. Sorry. Sheesh. <sighs> AI technology, what can you say? That's a neat little uh, structure here. I wonder if it's uh, used as a uh, sort of a shelter for uh, Winnie the Pooh, maybe Tigger too. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm almost in the, the 100 acre woods. Of course, knowing my luck, I'd probably just see Eeyore. Um, yeah. Where's, where, where, where's Winnie the Pooh and Tigger when you need them? Oh. I'll find him. I, I'm pretty sure I will. I don't know if you can see, but uh, on the uh, the river there, the, the frozen, frozen river, uh, technically the, the uh, LaSalle River, uh, you can see uh, all sorts of trails made by snowmobiles, and I've also seen people uh, with their dogs on the uh, on the, uh, the river there too. Um, I'd take it, but snow is probably softer than, uh, than this path that I'm on, so just to play it safe and not to tear myself out too much, uh, I'm going to take the path back. Anyway, uh, on that note, uh, I gotta go. Uh, it's getting late. Gotta go pick up my wife from work and uh, maybe go get some hot chocolate. That'd be kind of nice. Um, and uh, at this point, I'll just say do the usual like, comment, subscribe, and uh, see you next time. <laughs>